Hey guys, Jim from Import Image Racing, and today we're going to be reviewing and installing these Rally Armor mud flaps on this VB chassis Subaru WRX. Now you already know this name. These guys are no stranger to the mud flap game, especially when it comes to Subarus. Construction is a strong, impact-resistant polyurethane combined with stainless steel brackets on top of all new installation hardware. Also included are full instructions and an inventory sheet just to be sure you got everything you need. The flaps come in either red or black with several different choices of logo color including blue, white, black, and more. But around here at Import Image, we like our chili spicy. So we went with the red flap with the black logo for our blue WRX. But now we're ready to install this, so let's get to work. The first step, and a very commonly overlooked step, is just to make sure that you have the right flaps for the right corner of the vehicle. Luckily, Rally Armor has provided this installation instruction on the back page that tells you that the flap with the round hole, which is this one right here on top, belongs in the rear, and that means the other flap belongs in the front. Also, full disclosure, this installation with the proper tools can be done without the use of jack stands or even removing the wheels, but for the best video possible, we're going to go ahead and take the wheels off. Now that the wheels are off, we're going to start on the rear of the vehicle because it's the easiest of the two. With the flathead screwdriver, push the center of the retaining clip in, then remove the clip. Using the same screwdriver, pop the retaining clip out from underneath the vehicle. This is a good time to note that these flaps can be used in conjunction with the Noble rear spats and side skirts with no interference. Install the stainless rear bracket with the longer edge facing the center of the car. Reuse the factory push pin to secure. Place the flap onto the vehicle and using the provided hardware, Insert the pin into the top hole. Next, place a plastic washer onto each stud. Install the provided nuts by hand. Attach the provided metal race clip to the upper leading edge. Lastly, Adjust the flap to a level position, then tighten the two fastener nuts. Okay, quite frankly, the back's done. Let's move on up to the front. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove these four retaining screws. This will allow access to behind the fender liner. Using the provided plastic wedge anchors, attach them to these locations. With the liner back in place, reinstall the factory push pin into the top hole. In the kit provided, there'll be two of these foam spacers. They're stick on back, so you're gonna to wanna to remove the paper, like so and stick it onto the now top hole. Also provided in the kit is this plastic anchor and screw. Take the anchor and remove it from the screw. We're gonna take our new anchor and install it into this location in the fender well. Now we're gonna install one of our plastic washers onto a short screw. Then with the front flap, put the screw through the hole and lightly tighten. Take the bracket with the angle facing the rear and install a short screw without a washer into the second hole. Apply a plastic washer onto the long screw, then install the plastic spacer behind the flap and insert the screw into the final mounting point. Finally, level the front flap and tighten all of your hardware. Now that these are snug and this side is done, we can head on and repeat all these steps for the other side, put the wheels back on, and we're going to be good to go. Well, 
Well, that completes the install of our Rally Armor mud flaps on our 2022 VB chassis WRX. For parts just like this and thousands more, be sure to hit that like and subscribe and check out importimageracing.com. We will catch you on the next one. You're like, I've seen this before. <laughs> yeah. All right, you're gonna have your magical debut. Yay! <laughs> if you want more videos like this, just make sure to like and subscribe. Excellent! Yeah. Yay! Hey guys, it's Jim from importimageracing.com and today we are going to be reviewing and installing. But around here at Import Image, 